Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. I am headed out super early, I got no kids. Everybody's still doing chores. It's literally like 8 a.m., 8 a.m., 8.14 a.m. and I'm headed to just to get money. <laughs> it's farrier day. Also, our horses have chiropractor this week. So, I'm gonna need a lot of money. <laughs> horses are expensive. I'm waiting for my car to warm up and I thought I would tell you guys just do like a little catch up, a little talk to you guys because I feel like when things get busy that I miss out on this. I miss out on talking to you guys and just like spending time with you guys. I wanted to tell you that yesterday it was so much fun. Like for a hor for me, that's what horses are. It's about having fun. It's not about it's not about all the rest of it. For me, it's just fun. And I think I've said that all along. Horses for me are so much fun. Just like being with them, spending time with them. And Gracie actually was really, really good. I was watching the video back. Like, it's so crazy to me how you can experience something and then watch a video of it back and it looks so different. Like, to me, she was pulling a lot because she just wanted to go. And it was really, tr it was really tricky because the parade had so many people and everybody was kind of jostling and there was not really any space between anybody. And at one point we were behind um, a, a sheep who was so cute, but it was slow and Gracie didn't want to be behind a slow sheep. She wanted to, she wanted to be at the front, which is kind of like my penny. But anyway, it was so good. It was such a fun experience. I loved spending the day with friends and I love that our friends are the kind of friends that you can go someplace with and then everybody can literally just be there at their own spot doing their own thing and like it's just a happy easygoing friendship just such a happy easygoing friendship we all did our own thing in the parade we all had our own roles our own goals and we all just went out and did the parade and it was so fun like proud of my kids proud of everyone like it was uh, proud of our horses like just so much fun next year for sure parade Hello. All right, my family is here. My family's in the barn. Is that how quiet it is the whole time you guys are down here? So you play music and then you don't talk? I talk, I sing. You talk and you sing? I try and ignore it. You try and ignore it. Mom, look. I have two brush bags. Yep, you have two brush bags. I like the color of this one. I pretty. love both of them. I like this one because it's easier I can see. I know that one's an easy one that one see maybe I need to get one like the pink one. These are the same kinds. Yeah these are definitely the same kind but see how it's closed up at the top I like how open that one is. I close yeah, this one because it keeps the dirt out. Just so you guys know when we have farrier days and it gets really cold and we've been in for a while we put our chairs in front of this heater it's actually like so super warm it's like having a little fireplace. You still cold? Yeah. No, I'm warm by the heater. Yeah, it's warm. And sometimes when it's like really cold out, everybody stays in the house except for me. And then I put this in front of the farrier so she doesn't get cold. I actually have done that. Sam, do you remember doing that? You set it up for her. Yeah. We do that. There's there a spider later. in your hair. Yeah, there's a spider crawling right through your hair. You and it's it. disgusting. It. <laughs> Look at it. It's a big, huge spider. Ooh, ooh, no, it's on your no, forehead. No, on your, no. There, there it goes. It's on the ground. No. It's on the ground. You gave her the hay ball? She, I just walked in and she was playing with the hay ball. That's adorable. She's getting a little chubby. Our vet wants her to stay uh, at a, a certain weight, so we have to always be like super careful. You're getting bored with a hay ball? We are done, and it was a lot of mess. I love farrier day. I love. I love farrier day. I love catching up with my farrier. Come on, Molly. But I am cold. Like freezing cold, you guys. Freezing. Our farrier loves the fall. So we talked a lot about how she has sticky stifles and what our vet thought and what our vet told us to do. And she said like, she basically said all the same stuff and she did some stuff to her feet to try and like make it a little bit better for her. But she loves her. I was telling her, like, everybody loves our foal. Like, everybody. Like, all of our horses are obsessed with her. And it, she said, I can see why. Like, she's just so sweet and so snuggly and so well-behaved. Like, so well-behaved for her feet. Like, better than a lot of horses. Like, and she's just a baby. Like, it's just amazing. She's amazing. Even though she's growing really fast right now, and she's probably going to grow out of her uh, sticky stifles, 
I love having a team of people to work with and to like, even though I love our vet and I believe in him and I listen to everything that he says, I love having like other people, professionals give me their opinion and be involved. And our farrier comes this week and I'm really excited about that too because I'm going to ask her her opinion. In Canada, to be an equine chiropractor, you have to either be a vet or a human chiropractor. Watch the Houston. Is that a new one for her? Well, I taught it to her before, but she's actually good at it. She's actually good at it now. Sam and I are in the car. We've just been shopping. I got the dogs, these. Um, I was naughty and nice. I got, there's four in there, and I figured each of our dogs can have one. Macy probably wouldn't eat a whole one. But anyway, we just are doing shopping. I think from now to the end of the Christmas holidays, we'll be doing shopping every day, because that's just what has to happen. But anyways, Sam, I'm gonna play this game while we're driving. I'm gonna ask you questions, and I'm gonna see if we have the... You can't bother the driver when he... I'm gonna ask you questions, and we're gonna see if we have the same answer, okay? Which one of our dogs is the best dog? Yeah, Ruby is good. I think Molly is really good too. It's a tie between Ruby and Molly. Molly does stuff and Ruby's just like quiet and kind of lazy. So I'm gonna say Molly, you say Ruby, right? Best horse. Chino. Chino. <laughs> Alright, our best horse, including Storm. Including Storm, you say still Chino? Storm. All right, Storm's still out on loan. So I'm gonna say the best horse is Willow. I feel like Willow is the best behaved. Like you can't take Chino anywhere. Like, I mean, Gabby probably could, but he's like, he's a bigger horse and he gets like, I don't know. I don't think he's as socialized and as trained as Willow. I feel like Willow is more trained than. I think Honey's more trained than Willow. Honey is so I open the door, she goes right to her stuff. I know, I love her. Like, everybody can't believe how good she is. Like, Sylvie's doing so good with that little foal. The farrier can't believe how good she is. The farrier cannot believe how good she is for her age. So, um, okay. Favorite kid. <laughs> Just kidding! <laughs> Just kidding. There are no favorites. No. Chocolate or vanilla? Chocolate. Vanilla. Do you like summer better or winter better? Spring. Oh my gosh, <laughs> spring is the worst season. The worst season. Spring is always cold and always wet. Always. Like, it, there's never a good spring. There's never a good I'm spring. Not that kind of spring, like the spring where it's about to turn spring and it's nice and warm out and it's not raining. It's about to turn spring, so you mean winter? No, it's like the end of winter, but it's about to be spring. You really like that? I don't like the wet. I, I love like fall. What about fall? Or yeah, it could be fall is my favorite. The beginning of spring or the beginning of fall. They're the same. No, I don't feel like that. The beginning of spring is always cold and always wet. No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. It's nice. All right, I think I know what you're talking about. Spring is like like when the it's the beginning, and you're like, oh, it's gonna be great. This when it's year. like 15 degrees. Yeah. Not too hot. And I like fall when it's about 15 degrees. Do you prefer dogs or cats? Dogs. Dogs. Finally, we agree on something. I bought these cookies for the dogs for Christmas like I showed you. And Gabby said Molly gets the nice one. Because it's red. And then Daisy gets naughty. No. She eats everything. Okay, Daisy gets the naughty one. Yeah. Um, but here, I have to ask you a question. Out of all of our horses, which is the best behaved? You can take it anywhere. Chino. You said Chino. Sophie said Willow. I said Willow. Dad said Chino. How crazy is that? All right, best dog. Best. Molly. Molly. Molly or Ruby. Yeah, Molly or Ruby. We're all on the same page. If I take Daisy anywhere, she would throw up in the car. Yeah, but isn't that so funny? Like, I like Molly because Molly does stuff. She doesn't just like be a good dog. She like also it does stuff. And Daisy. Um, Ruby's a bit lazy, but she's my second. Like, well, she's really well behaved too. Like, she's such a good dog. No, but then, no, Sophie Ruby picked. Will run away from you. Sophie would run away. She doesn't run away, but she Daisy, like. 
I don't run away. Molly likes to, Ruby likes to, to explore and she doesn't pay attention all the time and Molly is always paying attention to where we are. Daisy it gets cold and scared. She doesn't like the cold and she doesn't like the horses so that just puts her out. We, you we guys, reaction. we have exciting news. We have such exciting news. So I told you I guys. I cut the front piece of my hair and it looks good. Yeah, that's not the exciting news. That is the exciting news. The exciting news is that you guys know I told you that there's a lot of things that Sophie wants to do with minis. There's a bunch of things that she wants to do in her life. And one of them it's was go to a parade and we did that. And the next thing that we want to do is we want to like take the minis. We want to take the minis to like preschools and nurse, nursing homes and schools and and pretty much like put on little shows and stuff. It's something that she wants to do as a part of her homeschool curriculum. And so today it was such a, I had such a busy afternoon. Okay, that's a lie. I had a nap. I had a nap and then when I woke up, I'm like, what are you waiting for, Laura? Like, why are you just jumping on this? And so I messaged a friend that works in a, in a preschool. Actually, she's the boss of the preschool. And I said, hey, do you, are you guys, do you guys still want, like, because they always do animal stuff. I said, are you guys looking for any entertainment stuff? Because Sophie has a little group of minis and she, uh, ponies. And she's really interested in, like, putting on a show for little kids. And she has a little trick pony. And... And she has a baby pony. Trick and pony, not truck. Trick pony. And she said, oh, are you kidding me? Please, <laughs> come to our school. And I'm like, really? And she goes, yes, I'll go to school tomorrow and talk about it to, to the other teachers. And as soon as I find out what they, like, what is a good day for you, we'll give you a date. And I'm like, okay. And she was like freaking out. And then I was freaking out. And then I'm like, Sophie, you got your first gig. So you got your first gig. Yeah. Right, go to a preschool. Sophie loves kids. And she loves horses, and especially minis. So, this is it, you guys. Like, this could be the beginning of a whole new journey for her. I want her to experience all the things that she loves. Same with Gabby. So that she can figure out what she wants to do with her life. That's what it's all about. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. So, we need your guys' help. I need to teach a little more tricks. We need more tricks. We need to know what you guys think. Like, we need to do a little routine, routine. Like, we'll probably take maybe some jump standards, like just one jump standards, and show them that she can jump and... The blocks. Oh. Yeah, and I also thought about how, like, we can take... Anyway, I have a whole idea, but it's going to involve, like, a lot of work, a lot of excitement. But what do you guys recommend? Like, what do you guys suggest for other tricks that she Greenly, can... Greenly, if you're watching this and you have more tricks... Greenly, um, hit please. Sophie up. She needs more tricks. Yeah, because she was the one who told me to fist, to teach well. The fist, fist bump. bump, yeah. And, it, and, all, and even my brother loves that. Like, people come over and they want to fist bump the pony. And I'm like, okay, it's so, so silly, but you can fist bump the pony. Anyway, we are so excited. We couldn't wait to tell you guys. When I'm going to try and get Willow to do a trick, she's either going to be trying to fist bump me or spin. Yeah, or eat grass, because we pr better practice that on the grass. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and we're getting cold feet. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't you know that you're beautiful?